taking a live look at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Activity has been picking up. These stands are going to be filled with thousands of people in just a few hours. And before the drivers rev up their engines for tomorrow's big race, we're checking in with someone who knows this track very well. His career spanned more than three decades and includes not one, not two, but three Indy wins. We are so excited to say racing legend Johnny Rutherford is here. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Are, Thank you. We're so excited to have you. You're the authority on this. What does it take to compete in the Indy 500? It takes a lot of mental preparation. You know, this, this is not just a, a, a fast drive around a track. This is high speed, uh, something that you have to work at and make yourself ready to do. So you've been in these driver's shoes before. How are they preparing for tomorrow? Taking it easy. Mm -hmm. I think uh, you, you, they're going to have the driver's meeting in a moment and then the parade downtown. And uh, so that you just detail little things that you do and just kind of relax. Right, until for the big day, I understand. So six drivers making their Indy 500 debut. A lot of talk around Kyle Larson. What advice do you have for these men? Finish the race. What does that mean? Don't, don't have an incident, a crash or anything. You want to be known as a driver that can run the 500 miles and be there at the end. And that's good for your credit. And there, these drivers, and you have as well, exceeding speeds of 170 miles per hour. Can you describe what it's like in that car? What is it like to drive that fast? People dream of it. We see it in the movies. <laughs> well, it's uh, going from one place to the other very fast. Did you ever know how, how fast that is? An object traveling 200 miles an hour covers 300 feet per second. 300 feet is the length of a football field. So the cars are going a little faster than that now. And so they're covering more than a length of a football field a second. That's incredible. It is. And like I mentioned, more than a quarter of a million people are going to be here. They're so excited. What's it like to step in front of these crowds, Mr. Rutherford? You know, you don't even don't even notice it uh, other than the the you practiced here for the month. And then you, you, on qualifying day, you might notice a little bit of it. But race day, the color in the grandstand is amazing. You know, all of the different colors of the fans wearing whatever they do. And it's, it's, it's something to see that, that many people at one time at one place. I don't mean to dampen the mood, literally. We have to talk about the weather. There's some fear about rain and thunder. What are you thinking? Well, uh... Stay in where it's warm and dry. You know, that, that's all you can do. You can't run these cars. They run them on road courses mm -hmm. with rain tires. But you can't, you know, this high speed you can't do with the smooth tires that they, that they have. So it's, you know, it's just uh, if it rains, we'll just have to leave them in the garage. Yeah, sure. What are you looking forward to most? I think... Uh, seeing the running of the Indy 500 again. Yeah, I've been here so many times, done it a lot of times. So it's, you know, uh, something that you look forward to every May. Well, we will be watching alongside you, Johnny Rutherford. You are Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.